Hi everyone, Alan here. Yeah, I've got to an area that's not not crowded. Um, yeah, it's looking this year that uh, the make the maker fair is uh, kicking off a little bit. You know, it's absolutely round by the town hall is absolutely uh, packed. Yeah. So I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a better, well, better festival than last year. Uh, for what I've been, for what I've been coming across, uh, that, you know. Yeah, that's right, but what they didn't touch on, Northrop make, uh, they've moved from, uh, they've moved from making looms of Northrop, they've moved to making bombs. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a diversity, a bit of a diversity wow. there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Everybody's meeting everybody else. And, uh, well, in a sort of way, I am making. I'm making a video about you, about the, about what's going on here. And uh, I'm quite surprised I haven't seen uh, any more bloggers from the Blackburn area. Well, one, one. She did a major uh, promotion video f on uh, YouTube to uh, promote Blackburn. But the major things about Blackburn is, yeah, the town centre is pretty nice and you've got the, you know, Corporation Park, Witten Park and places like that. But once you get out of those areas, right, you don't really want to be there at night time. Corporation Park at night. Well, it's, shall we say, you wouldn't go in there. Full of druggies and everything. This is the reason why they took the public toilets out. Um, yeah. That's the reason why they took the toilets out. And Witten. For what I've been heard, well, what I've heard is that they're basically um, just renewed, just renewed them in the pavilion. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And uh, yeah. Someone that I saw someone with a camera do it. Yeah. Just have to wait and see what happens. I'm just having a walk round uh, the town centre. And uh, yeah. That nice dog. Nice. Um, yeah so i'm just uh sitting here for a while and uh i'm most prob most probably uh i'll have a walk round again because there's something going on at the cathedral well there's always something going on at the cathedral but one of the uh things that has happened at uh blackburn we've got a new dean 
but uh, one of the things that I've been hearing is that not many people just don't want to join the church yeah so we'll just have to wait and see what happens and uh, see how it goes they're talking about the weather is going to change this, af this afternoon but uh, so far so far we haven't had a thunderstorm yet and uh, that's what they forecast for later on today but uh, we will see what happens we'll see what happens and we'll see if the crews see if the see if the cruisers come out tonight um, and well we'll basically see what happens with that because there's meant to be a car there's meant to be a car um, yeah so yeah well I will be pushing a lot of videos up today unedited unlike some other people and uh, yeah one of the things that did go up of late one of another youtuber put put up a video and uh, of inside the map uh, Waterstones is coming back and uh, we'll see how long they'll last this time but uh, it'll be good to have a bookshop in the town centre well it'll be the second bookshop in the town centre because uh, bookshop has opened up on uh, Northgate at the top and it sells all sorts and uh, I'm just waiting to see I'm just I'm just waiting to see what happens so I'm quite surprised uh, Sam's bar is open and that and the sun yeah better turnout than last year a far better turnout than last year now we'll see what happens with pride um, and see if the numbers at that go up so we'll just have to wait and see for that I think that's in two weeks so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that so yeah it's been a good day so far been a good day so far I've been putting a lot of videos up um, yeah I did go out earlier on today with my mum to the shop to do some bargain hunting what people have got to people have got to realise is that the way things are going at the moment making stuff making stuff is one way around it so you've got to be prepared not scared with what is going on because sooner or later what is going on in Europe is is in one way or another going to basically affect us all here because Biden has sent cluster bombs to Ukraine and we we basically turned around and said well we signed a agreement and and we're not sending munitions like that because we got rid of all our cluster bombs do you know who bought our cluster bombs I'll tell you who bought our cluster bombs the United States bought all our cluster bombs off us so that we could comply with with the, with with the um, treaties 
with the treaties that we signed so you know so we've complied with the, that mor moratorium so to comply with that moratorium on cluster bombs the United States is going to send its send its complete total amount of cluster bombs to Ukraine whilst they produce the weaponry that Ukraine requires. It is basically a stopgap measure. Yeah? Which is a stopgap measure whilst they while the defence contractors uh, manage to get their act together shall we say because they only make so, they only made so many bombs did the US government they didn't they didn't plan for this so what they're basically going what they're basically doing they're sending all the missiles and everything to Ukraine and what they're doing as I said these cluster bombs are just a stopgap measure until Lockheed Martin and all them BAE systems can catch up with manufacturing the weaponry that the you, um, you know what they specifically need AMARS are basically they're running out of AMARS uh, missiles and stuff so what that so that's the reason why Biden has decided to um, is sending the cluster bombs to Ukraine. It's, as I said, it's just a stopgap measure. Well, I'm in the Blackburn Town Centre at the moment, as you can most probably make out. Yeah, a large number of videos will be going up today and uh, yeah security are having a bit of a headache with um, what is going on because the amounts of people that are in the town centre because uh, of people coming, up, coming in coming out and basically shoplifters are on the prowl in the town centre because they can't keep an eye on everybody and uh, yeah we'll just have to wait and see He's definitely nicked over 200 quid's worth of stuff. He's got, he's got over 